Sometimes the GMAT will give you two different ratios that have an overlapping component, and they'll ask you to compare the non-overlapping components of those ratios in a new ratio. So here we have dogs to cats is three to two, and we have cats to snakes is three to five. And obviously both ratios have a cat component. So that's gonna be the bridge or the overlapping component that we can use to set dogs to snakes as its own ratio, even though they haven't been directly compared yet. So if I look at dogs to cats, and I know that that is something like 3x to 2x, and I look at cats to snakes, and I know that's something like 3y to 5y, and the reason I'm representing it as y instead of x here is because I know factually that these multipliers are not equivalent. Because the number of cats is some hard number, it's like 60 or something, but I'm getting 2x is equal to 3y, which means x is equal to 3 halves y, not equal to y itself. So I don't want to confuse myself and make both of these x. These are different variables and we should look at them as different variables. So I could do this a number of ways. Um, I'll show you the first way, which is not the way I typically solve it. And then I'll show you the way that I like to solve it. So in the first situation, we could just take this 3x and say, well, we know x is equal to 3 halves y. So this is really 3 times 3 halves y, which is equal to 9 over 2 times y. And now we have a ratio, but it's not that nice to look at because we have a fraction here. Um, but the way I actually like to look at it, so that's the first way, which is just to plug in this situation for x in the first ratio and bring it down to represent it as a multiple of y instead of a multiple of x. Another way is to look at cats and say, okay, I know cats is a multiple of six because it's a multiple of two and a multiple of three. So I'm gonna think of cats as being six n. Well, if six n equals two x, then x is equal to three n, and I can think of dogs as being three times three n, which is nine n. And I can think of snakes, which is five y, since I know that 6n is also equal to 3y, where the number of cats was represented with the multiplier of y, I know that y is equal to 2n, which means I can plug 2n here and get 10n out for the number of snakes. And now I have the simplest version of my ratio where all the numbers are, are whole integers. And so the ratio of dogs to snakes is a ratio of nine to 10 because 9n to 10n, where n is the multiplier. So the ratio of dogs to snakes is nine to 10. So the way I did it was I found the least common multiplier of the, uh, the bridge, the number, the, uh, the type of animal that appeared in both ratios. And then I used that to determine if we did have six cats, how many snakes would we have since cats to snakes is a, is a three to five ratio? And how many dogs would we have since dogs to cats is a three to two ratio? and I came up with nine dogs and 10 cats, I mean 10 snakes. So that's the way I like to think of it, least common multiple as the bridge, and then work using those numbers because it'll quickly produce whole integers out. And you can always make sure that you can't simplify this further, but if you use the least common multiplier, it typically will result in the simplest form of the ratio.